While there are many forms of heat we deal with, in addition to what you considered about this verse in class, I'd like to focus on one particular form of heat, and that is persecution. Restrictions on our work and bans are designed to create fear. Negative articles in the media about Jehovah's Witnesses are designed to create doubt. Religious leaders and opposers, they attack our neutrality, our clear support for the Bible's view of sex and marriage, or discipline by disfellowshipping and other matters. And add to that that some of our brothers are being rounded up and thrown into prison, we can say that Satan has truly turned up the heat. What will happen to the trees? Will fear and doubt cause them to shrivel up and die during the drought? No. If you notice there in verse 8, Jehovah says the righteous will not notice the heat. That's right. The righteous will not notice the heat, but the watchtower's governing body will. No doubt you have heard that the peaceful worship of Jehovah's Witnesses is under attack in Russia. Just one week ago, on March 15, the Russian Ministry of Justice filed a claim with the Supreme Court of the Russian Federation seeking to declare our religious organization as extremist or criminal in nature. Think about the apostate-driven lies and dishonesties that Jehovah's organization is permissive toward pedophiles. I mean, that is ridiculous, isn't it? If anybody takes action against someone who would threaten our young ones and takes action to protect our young ones, it's Jehovah's organization. We reject outright such lies. Referring to a statement that may have appeared on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, the spread of rumors is like wildfire that is hard to control. If you notice there in verse 8, Jehovah says the righteous will not notice the heat. That's right. The righteous will not notice the heat, but the watchtower's governing body will. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.